Well, guys, you can't really see. You find her. There we go. Now you can see what we're looking at. Let's get a bit more light on the subject. Not a great lot more, but we've got a bit more here. Now we're looking at. Have you ever remember when TVs used to look like that? Back in the day, when you were a kid. Where back in the 80s, I mean, look, look, this is a proper type deal. This is not a flat panel TV. Oh, no. I mean, look at, a look at the control panel will suggest to you that this is analog all the way. Look, there's the controls. No remote control here, guys. Look. They are all analog controls. You can even see, look, that the... There's the, uh, the data plate on it. There's the controls, the color, the brightness, the volume. And here's the big physical power switch. Look at that. There's that big speaker. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on this here. This is the wall plug. Okay, I'll turn it on. I'm going to turn the TV on now for you. And listen to the sound on this old thing. This is an old vintage... Probably 1970s TV. I don't even know what make this thing is. So we can get a focus on the name. Looks like an old bush. You find her. Image. 40%. 35%. 25%. 40%. 35%. 35%. On. Button. Off. Button. Might not be able to see the make of it, but... I can't even see... 20. What make that is. As you can see, this is one pretty old... TV. See, even the buttons are labelled like BBC One, BBC Two, BBC. But yet, the all oh, what they've done, they've even labelled the buttons. If you look at this, as you look at it, so you got you got BBC One. This dates back to at least when they uh, first brought this out. I don't know what that means, but basically what you would do can't get it close enough so you can read these. Basically as you can see, this TV did not count. This goes back I can't read what they say, but basically you've got your channel buttons. It's BBC One, BBC Two. This was actually made for the British market. But you don't have... The first channels are actually known as BBC One and BBC Two. They had accommodated... You've got Alt One, Alt Two, and Alt Three. So basically what they'd done, they channeled it such that um, 
they uh, they done this in such a way. This is before TVs were made to be the way they are now. So this did not actually activate. This did not actually support other channels. Well, let me show you how good this TV is. I'm going to turn it on with the big button here. And they're just waiting, waiting to be brought back to life. And there's something very moving that you should be at once so serene and so dignified, but so alert. Marshall's effigy is a deliberate attempt to turn him into a legend, a gallant and honourable holy warrior. There's no trace of the blood and guts of the melee where Marshall made his name. So knights weren't quite the romantic heroes that we've often taken them to be. In fact, they were some of the most brutal, image-obsessed and power-hungry men in Well, there you go. Perhaps it's time to rewrite the legend. There you go. There it is. Still working as good today as it did. Me, probably in the and 70s when it was made. So much for the knights. You turn it off and it goes away. What's cool about these old TVs that is off at the that's off at the moment. I'm gonna put it back on. Watch how the pitch comes up. Who's a Tudor geek? Might be a silly question, she says, but it why fades are in. Actually called knights? It fades I in. I think it's because it's from a Germanic word. You know, it fades in. This is not your average TV at all. It's you find a image on button. This is definitely not a modern TV, as you can see. Flipping it, guys. This thing is history, history itself. Look at this. Right, look. No remote control there, boys. If you want to turn the TV over, you walk over to it and go like that. Look. To tune this, you actually take hold of the... You, you push the button in, say I wanted to tune that one there at the bottom. You push it in, you take the edge of the button and you turn... The button, like that. You would turn the button, and that would allow you to actually tune the channel to how you want. So there you go. This, I don't think, will be thrown away in any great hurry, even though we're not going to be able to use these in a few weeks' time, because the UK's TV channels are going digital. We still have analog TV at the moment. This TV cannot support digital outright. Without the help of a video recorder, I think. But with a bit of help from a, an old fashioned video deck, we will, I think, be able to make this TV live for a bit longer yet. I'm sorry about the jaws in the background because we've got a friend working on his machine, which we finished. Well, this is a TV that he's got in his flat right now, in his bungalow, uh, correctly. But there it is. I don't know the make of this old thing, but it still lives. Stop 